Everyone is preparing for the solar eclipse. It's happening in eight days, and we're giving away our solar eclipse bracelet here. Check it out. Visit idridlove.me. This is people going crazy. <laughs> Your Zodiac Piao comes with a free evil eye solar eclipse, very protective bracelet. I'm a Libra, and I love to shop. Are you that kind of Libra? <laughs> well, you're in the right place. So <laughs> I'm always excited to do your reading. That was yesterday. The amount of people, like you guys go crazy with Jade, I swear. Ever since I told you guys about Jade, because I chose that one for your Zodiac Piao. Oh, guess what? I made something new. And of course, I'm giving it up. Okay, one second, okay? You guys, you guys have issues, I feel. Oh, <laughs> I like your issues. See, your issues, you have trust issues. Seven of Cups, done. Oh my God, Libra. It's not even 24 hours when I did your reading. Libra, let's see. And you're already creating mountains out of a molehill. What is this? You know, when I did Scorpio, they're also overthinking a situation. There's an obstacle. See, this is how malefic this uh, solar eclipse that is coming. You know, we might not be able to see through it. So we have to be conservative. You don't believe everything that is out there. Mm -hmm. You just have to keep your inner circle close. You know, like, yeah, with the Seven of Cups, if you're dating, you're talking to someone, uh, I feel like you have a hunch that they're not being honest with you. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Let's see, let's see. You're constantly wandering around right now. Oh, Three of Swords. Oh my golly. What's going on? No, you're not the one who's suffering in a heartache. Your person is. I feel like you're the one who says, like, listen, I need some time to think. We don't want a Libra that thinks. Why? Because they can see through the lies. And chances are before, you just said, it's like, oh, no, that's not a red flag. That's a blue flag. Oh, that's like, that's a white flag, not a red flag. You may be colorblind, don't you think? Because everything was a red flag, but you keep saying it's not. So that's what I say when, when I coach. When people don't believe that, don't you think that's a red flag? No. Yellow. Yeah, you need an opt optometrist or an ophthalmologist because you don't see the red flags. Mm. Ten of cups, because when you're in love, ooh, logic is out of the window. Okay, so... You can be one of those people who's very romantic, Ten of Cups. I myself is very romantic, you know, once in love, you know. It's like, oh, dear. But that was the young, young, young energy. So how old are you? How old are you? <laughs> Sad, we don't ask age here. Okay, true. Got that. But with the Ten of Cups, Three of Swords, you felt like you can always trust your person. Good. But then you guys had a fight, and then now you guys are not together. I don't sense the lie yet. I don't see it yet, whatever it is, because you still feel like, no, this person is the one. Jupiter is in your seventh house, yes, but Mercury right now is there. It, it's in going to retrograde. It is retrograde already in the first, and it's three degrees. It's going to stay there all the way to the ninth, and then it's going to move back to your sixth house. So what you're going to do here, Libra, is you're going to review the relationship. So... When Mercury is in retrograde, it's about the re reassessment, review, recycle, hopefully, you know. That's why people go back into act with their excesses because they recycle their energy. Mm-hmm. So you'll be shady. I'm not being shady. This might be an ex. And they message you. And then now your one is like, oh boy. Mm. You have a king of pentacles. Okay, right here. Look at that. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay, um, your person sees the future with you, but you guys are not up. Uh, you guys are not together. Okay, you still want to be with them, guarantee. They still want to be with you. However, there are things that has been said and done. Okay, you have a ten of cups and the ten of swords. No matter how much you love this person, everything that was light before, like you see this, this is light. Now it's all darkness. Why you say that, Sal? No, I feel like things became sour between the two of you. We all know that, you know, relationship in the beginning is the honeymoon phase. And then when reality sets in about the responsibilities, you know, between the two of you and then how to merge, you know, two separate energies into one working together, that's where the two of you have conflicts every time. 
the bickering, the arguing, the fights with the Ten of Swords. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Why do I feel that you don't want to deal with this right now? There is a big avoidant energy here, which I don't blame you. But your person is constantly trying. With Saturn and Mars in the fifth house, this is not good. This is aggression towards a person that you're dating, which only means that was a Ten of Swords. So imagine, okay, if you knew this message months ago, two, three, four, five months ago, I'm just saying, do you think that you would be able to control whatever that discussion is? Would you have prevented it? No. Because it is what it is. It is set in stone. Because a transit will manifest, right? However, what we can do is remedy it. If there's constant arguments, bickering, and fight, here's what I want you to do. If you're living in together or, you know, or, you know, if you're not, it doesn't matter. I want you to start doing walks. Like fast. I need fast. I don't want just like walk like that, like a stroll. No, no, no. I want you to walk fast. Now, of course, like be safe out there, okay? <laughs> okay, walk fast is a good remedy for your relationship. Walk in eights, like circle. Um, you guys think that I only do crystals? How? Why? No, it's not. You're trying to remedy relationship. I got, I got, I got a lot. Mm -hmm. Not just crystals. So that's one thing. Now, if you're very active, I would recommend you also exercise. I don't care. Burn that energy. It's going to be for the next maybe three to four weeks. I, if you're doing one a day at gym, go twice a day. It can still be safe because I see here the Hierophant, you guys can be married. Some crystals just don't work with your sign. If you're tired that your crystals are not working the way that you would like to, well, I'm a crystal expert and I made specific double Piao crystal bracelet just for your sign. Get yours right now at eatreadlove.me. Yes, you guys could be married. This eclipse, okay, is definitely, you know, affecting you the way that you think. Remember, it's in your 12th house, the lunar, and then the solar is in the 6th house. So you may, you know, like we don't want the two of you to have fights. And that's why for me, it was very important that I, when I made yours, is the jade one. Your zodiac Pia is jade. You can see that. If I'm wearing jade, I always say, why aren't you wearing one? And guess what? So yesterday, the one that you just saw the video, that was because I launched this. Uh, this is the evil eye with real gold obsidian. Okay, so this is made specifically for the solar eclipse, which is coming in the 8th. When you get this one, this is free. Okay, I want you to wear it right away for the next four to six months. The whole eclipse season will bring tremendous change. So we don't want those energies of negativity around us. So very, very protective. When you're manifesting, you don't want to be that vulnerable to any energy because there's a lot of energy. You want the good one. So this one is made specific for that. This is the evil eye one. Okay, you can stack this with a Piao. Yes, of course. So this is free. I'm making the class for the Eclipse also. It's free. I will finish it. The horoscope for April, I'll finish it and I'll send it also. And free shipping in the U.S. We ship to more than 80 countries across the globe. But here's the thing. I don't want you to miss out on this one because you know my schedule. At the end of the day, I run to the mail and I have to ship it out because these are handmade. So get it now. Mm. Don't even wait. Mm. King of Swords. Detach. Judgment. Oh. Well, I see what's the problem here. I feel like you do see your future with them or you guys are together, but there's a lot of pressure in the relationship. Judgment. So a lot of focus on the stability. Hmm. It's a very mature relationship, I can tell you that. Because the judgment with the Hierophant, this is an adult relationship where it's not about like, oh, we're going to go on trips and nice dinners and this and that. No. This is like, are we building this life together as a couple or not? That's a judgment. With Saturn in your fifth house and Mars, this is how much energy you're actually giving. And that can break the relationship, hear me out, because it's a lot of pressure for your person and actually for you. I'm not saying that, you know, that, you know, you're wrong and they're right, whatever. It's not like that. 
But I want you to understand that with Jupiter, okay, in your seventh house, we have time to save this relationship. For the past two, three weeks, what I always tell the, the, the Librans, you may be connecting with a Virgo, I hear it. Okay, you have Scorpio here, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, okay, Capricorn. What I always tell you about using Jade, okay, for that relationship, okay? So this one builds a strong bond of love, unconditional love. So, okay, that's why I gave you the Jade one. Now, out of all the 12, you know, you must be very special to me. You see that? Mm -mm. Mm. The only people that I have Jade with is the people I, you know, I would share, you know, a, a bond. So, make sure you check this out, okay? Tomorrow we'll touch this relationship subject again, and let's see what we can do, okay? Have a wonderful day.